Hello everybody, this is TechStack here, and I'm back with another uh, Let's Play. And this should be episode 6, I believe. Um, and we're going to start the episode off with a enchantment. I want to see if we can enchant this thing. Looks like we can. Let's see if we can use all five levels. Knockback. Hmm. I don't know if that would be very good on this or not. I mean, if we're going to use it on Enderman really don't want them getting kicked back that much. I, I'd prefer to hit them <laughs> repeatedly up close. Um, done a lot of work since last time. Uh, last time we were, uh, I recorded, I uh, was cutting down all these leaves and was going to use them in the underwater base. Um, done that. Uh, put them in the underwater base. It was somewhat effective. Um, I just needed to do a better job of placing the leaves underwater. Um, kind of a tricky thing to do when you're running out of breath underwater. You gotta keep going up or put a torch down to, uh, that's interesting. Nice chunk air there. Nice lava pool though. Um, you gotta place the torch down to, uh, Let's go back this way. To be able to uh, get to where you're going. You can see my tunnel there. Uh, I place the torch down, you can get a nice breath. Let's go in here. So, what I ended up doing instead, um, back to the old fashioned method of just placing. Ooh, I think I just saved myself from a creeper. Uh, placing down the. That's not going to work. Uh, let me get right back. I'm going to log off and log back in here so I can get rid of this chunk air. Okay, I'm back. That's much better. I hate it when that happens. Anyway, I've placed a bunch of sand in here instead. Um, I did uh, record the uh, leaf burning. Uh, I might put it at the end of this episode here uh, just so you can see how it goes. Uh, would have worked much better if I had not uh, failed in the placement of all these uh, places, blocks of leaves. But anyway, lesson learned. Uh, as you can see, I've gone quite a ways down here, and I've got it all the way down to where we're going to build the base. And I do not have this thing lit up good enough. Had several uh, creepers blow up while I was in here. And this is the end of the tunnel. And I've used my turtle to go all the way down to bedrock. Uh, I think that's going to be part of my plan for this underwater base. Um, it'll be uh, obviously larger than this section here. Um, I will remove the outside wall uh, once I've placed down glass. And I think I might go some with something that looks a little better than this just standard Minecraft vanilla glass here. I'll probably go with something that's more like the reinforced glass or just something that just looks good but I want to be able to see outside so you can see the water uh, effects and all this um, but uh, this part here I think this will be the place where my mind's gonna be um, come out to the underwater base and just have a mine underneath it um, yeah <laughs> let's uh, go down here and see what kind of resources we can find other than making sure that my turtle didn't miss anything and that I've got all of his items uh, that he left behind here. I have not gone down here to investigate at all as you can see. And again I didn't come prepared. Even better. I think I'll have to uh, grab some supplies. I need torches. Let me go grab torches and refill my jetpack and I'll be right back. This is what happens when you build a tunnel underwater that's not lit up. Creepers. Again. Okay, I'm back. Um, 
happens to be raining and an enderman came into my base while I was storing stuff away. Let's see if this thing works any better. He probably went out in the rain and is no longer mad. Okay, back to what I was doing. Okay, I'm back. Um, I've decided I'm going to go for it and make a mining drill. I mean, I've got the chainsaw already. Might as well go ahead and make the drill as well. Uh, in order to do that, I need to use up some of this copper cable here. Piece of refined iron. Two redstone. Uh, my turtle did come back with some redstone. Uh, plus, I think we grabbed a piece or two when we were down in the mine just a minute ago. Um, need to make a battery. One of those. Just like this, I believe. And I've got myself a mining drill. Good. Getting tired of making uh, pickaxes all the time. Get something that's more renewable here. Okay. Gonna charge this thing up. Um, don't think I have enough redstone to make a battery pack or anything like that, so we need to go mining. Um, but this will be a definite improvement. Uh, we'll have to keep uh, relying on making new pickaxes. So I'm going to head down to the mine, uh, see what we can find down there, and I'll be back and meet you in the mine. Okay, I'm back here. And I don't know if you noticed last time, when I went down here, I thought I seen a mine shaft. That's what that looks like right there, doesn't it? Let's try out this drill. Not bad. Let's see if we can find ourselves a chest down here. Oh, and uh, by the way, I am wearing armor now. Uh, and between this episode and the last one, oh, spider spawner. Between this episode and the last one, I uh, made that armor and chained it. Um, partially because I want on an Enderman hunt. I am trying to get myself set up so I can have a, a chunk chunk loader and also uh, would like to be able to get to the end so that I can find... Ooh, uh, beat the dragon, get an Enderman farm set up down there in the end. Um, that is another one, isn't it? Cool. I'm pretty close together. Um, hopefully I don't die here. Good. I am playing on hard mode. Uh, I believe you can die from poison on hard mode. Anyway, once I get those endermen set up, I'll be able to create plenty of ender chest and uh, things like that. I do have some plans for using ender plat- ender- Ew, can't talk today. <laughs> ender chest. Uh, ender chest to get uh, supplies back to my base easily, or from my base. And uh, if you haven't seen my uh, remote item on demand system, that's how I'd be doing that. I'm sure, lots of people do the same thing. Um, they may not have a uh, turtle or wireless redstone set up to feed the items into the inner chest, but uh, that's what I plan on doing. That way I can get any item I need uh, that I have stored back at my base and not just be limited to the storage space that's in the inner chest. Get some of this coal. Ooh, dead by lava. There's plenty of lava around here. See what, oh, there's more what is green gemstones, green sapphire. Good for making tools. Ah. Hmm. 
Ooh. Never dig up first roll. Or is that the second? Never dig down this first roll, I think. Anyway, I don't want to bore you with a bunch of mining, uh, but I do need to get a bunch of resources here. So I'm going to cut and I'll meet you back at the base again once uh, I've made a good run here. Let you know what all we find. And there we have it. My turtle's been put to good use. I believe that's diamond. Yes, it is. Success. Uh, really, I haven't been mining very long before I found it here. Uh, I went down at bedrock level and then I realized I was going to have problems with the turtle always running into bedrock because um, it wasn't quite level there. So I went up a few levels. He came back in this far and bam, diamond's right there. Oh, of course there has to be lava. Can never get an easy diamond around here. Let's clear out around these things. Oh, even more. Better. Nice sized deposit of diamond here. Couldn't ask for anything better. Um, let's get him going again here. Really, this uh, <laughs> using this method, you know, you tell your turtle, make me a tunnel, and you collect all the resources that he exposes around the edges that he can't pick up, because um, he's not smart enough to pick up if this is cobblestone or if this is a diamond or redstone or whatever it might be, and you just follow behind him and and pick things up. Uh, by the time you're mine, done mining all the resources he's uncovered, uh, he's uncovered more for you. So, makes for a good team. Plenty of lava down there. Could use for a bucket of water right now. Have one? No, I don't have one on me. Too bad. Good. Got it under both of them there, I think. Woo. Gotta be careful still. Now the diamond should be safe. Only lost one. Not too bad. How many did we get out of that? Four plus one. So what is five there in total? That's not bad. Not bad at all. I'm going to come back in a few minutes. If we find anything else interesting, I'll, I'll uh, show you. Otherwise, I will be back uh, in my base. Uh, probably go for a little while here. Uh, do need to get some diamonds. Uh, so it's good we found some, but uh, I need more than that. You know, get a quarry started, I think it's uh, like 12 or 11 of them you need. So definitely need quite a few more. Good for finding lapis, that's quite useful in the mods. Uh, <laughs> kind of weird to be saying that. Uh, lapis is usually considered useless, <laughs> uh, but in the mod pack, it has plenty of uses. Um, Mod developers created uh, Lapatron crystals and lap packs and things like that that uses uh, lapis lazuli as an ingredient. So, much needed update. Keep this guy going one more, see what we find, and I'll meet you back at the base. Look at that, he's found diamonds again already. I no more than uh, stopped recording and he uncovered them. Hopefully with these additional diamonds here, we'll, uh, oh yeah, he's already got two of them. We'll get enough to, uh, build a quarry. Okay, back to the base here. I've got all my, uh, materials put away. Um, as you can see, the quarry is really a diamond pickaxe and then two diamond gears, two gold gears, and three iron gears, and a piece of redstone. Um, these diamond gears each require four 
diamonds. Um, so there's eight, and this will make it 11. So we got just enough diamonds uh, from our trip to be able to make the quarry now. Uh, do have 11 pieces. Uh, don't, don't need copper. Do need some iron. Gonna need some wood. Just making sure I've got all the resources handy here. I'll need a piece of redstone. I've got some in the table there. I'm going to need my gold, though. I don't know if I have enough of that. 21 pieces. That should be enough. So let's get started on this. Okay, first we need to make uh, several... Uh, let's just turn these into wood planks. Oh, interesting. It pulls from the different types of wood automatically. That should be enough sticks. Just turn all these into gears. And good, I do have some cobble in here. It's probably not enough though. Only three gears. Let's see if I got some more back here. I do. Let's just steal that. Six gears. I need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven gears. <laughs> of course, it's short by one. Let's go grab some gobble real quick. That should do it. Okay. So now we've got enough gears. I think I need to make one, two, three of them golden. No, four of them golden. I need to make all of them iron, actually. Let's do that first. Six, seven. That's refined iron. Regular iron. Not enough iron. Go grab three more pieces of iron somewhere. Should have it. Yeah. Okay, now that they're all iron, I need to make those two gold, and these two will have to be gold to be able to go to a diamond. So I'm going to need four in total, I think. Should have enough gold here, I believe. Yes. And I've made five gold gears. Not good. I think I only needed four. And I only need two of those. So I'm going to have to make another iron gear, aren't I? Too bad. I'm sure we'll need that uh, gold gear for something else here. Those are iron. Almost got it. Let me get uh, another gear here. Got the wood there. There's the sticks. Need the couple. And I need the iron again. <laughs> Too much fun, right? It'll be worth it in the end here to have this thing because uh, I'm not one to really care for mining too much. Uh, the turtles definitely make it easier, but it's just not uh, not something I want to be doing all day long to to gather, you know, 400 resources for some of these things that the mods need. Okay, got a diamond pickaxe, and let's put that at the bottom, and we've got a quarry finally. Um, 
let me take a look and see how long this recording is has gotten and see if we're going to set this thing up this time or if we're going to have to come back for next time. So I'll be back in just a moment. Yeah, I've taken a look at the uh, the footage I've recorded so far and we're, we're over 20 minutes already. So I like to keep these episodes around the 15 minute mark uh, or less if possible. Um, if you like longer episodes, please let me know. Um, but next time we'll be putting down this uh, quarry, uh, getting it all set up, probably under, in the underwater base over there. Um, get a good start under there, clear that all out. Um, this will be the best thing to do that with. Uh, so yeah, but this is Tech Stack. Uh, please subscribe and like my videos if you uh, enjoy them. Um, it's Tech Stack signing off. Have a good day. Bye. And this is my Let's Play series using the Feed the Beast uh, mod loader and we are playing on the Dire Wolf 20 pack cobblestone walls number four there. Hit enter. He sends the commands over to the turtle and he's already off going to select our item. Hey guys, couldn't pass up an Enderman fight again. Oh, he even had diamonds on me. That's not good.